Hello beautiful, welcome to Elden Ring. My name is Epic Treasure and today is a troubleshooter that I'm making. As people progress in the game, this is going to be more of a problem um, because there's some rules in place in regards to summoning. So number one, summoning isn't a global thing in the game. It's not like there's a lobby where you can just join other people. Um, it is quite specific, so we're going to go through that down the line. But first of all, technical things we want to tick off really quickly. Um, make sure that you go into your settings, go into your network, make sure that those things are enabled that obviously need to be enabled, such as enable summon sign needs to be there. Um, and then make sure that you're in on online mode. So you know you're if, if you're on online mode because when you go to your menu, the multiplayer and the messages should be in gold, not silver. If they're in that means you're offline. So make sure that they are in gold. And uh, sometimes the server, they might be do doing server updates or whatever, and then you'll be in offline mode and you then just have to wait it out. So that's the technical side out of the way. Then we move on to the more probable side or reasons why you can't be summoned and why you can't summon. First of all, the Tarnishfeld finger that you're using as a helper, remember that's what that item is, to help other people, where you put those gold marks on the ground, that is in close proximity. This is not a beacon, a global beacon that lets people know that you want to play with them. It is literally on that spot that you put it. So it's important where you put it. So if you want to help somebody do a boss, a random person do a boss, put it outside a boss chamber. If you want to help people in that area just to frolic, put it at a side of grace. But that being said, you need to be very mindful of the area that you're in. Because in the game, the matchmaking is level-based too. So if you are level 100 and you're putting down your gold scratch marks and you think, oh, yeah, I'd like to help a level 1, it's not going to happen. You have to be around within 10%-ish of other players. So there's no point of you being a hefty character going to East Limgrave, for example, to help other players. It's, it won't work. You can't have your summon sign seen by anybody because the only way that somebody can see that gold marker on the ground is if they use that tracker I, I, item, remember, that furl calling finger remedy, that ding, ding thing that will light up the gold icons on the ground. So they can't see you if you are out of their, out of their level. So keep that in mind. This is why you don't have a problem summoning at the start because you're in the appropriate area, you're the appropriate level. And this is why people are having a problem because they're not sure of what zone they should be in. So they could be at level 100, but they could be back in a level um, area that is well underneath them. And so they're like, well, how can I get help? Well, you can't because of your level. So keep that in mind. So be in a level appropriate area for you. And you should know that by the enemies, basically. But there's another guide, a rough guide on that. There's nothing set in stone uh, that I know of in regards to hard and fast rules with levels and matchmaking. But that's how it is along the way. So keep in mind where you are and where you're putting that summon sign down. When it comes to areas, this is probably uh, one of the other most important things, is if you have defeated a boss in an area, a main boss... Nobody can come and help you in that area anymore. That's done, okay? You can't summon a random and you can't summon a friend. So if you've killed the main boss in that area, it's done for that spot. So if you're going along going, oh, yeah, well, I could summon last week before you killed the boss, then suddenly you kill the boss and, oh, I can't join my friend anymore. That's exactly why. It's because the boss is defeated, therefore, see you later for help. But here's uh, another important piece of information. If you're playing with a friend, number one, the levels don't matter. You could be level 100, they could be level one, it doesn't matter. You have to use the password in order to play with your friend, right? You have to meet at this, I know there's a lot of rules. You have to meet with your friend at a very specific spot that you choose together. So you could go, okay, let's meet at this, this side of Grace. And then the friend puts down... Um, you put down your fur calling finger remedy. They put down their scratch sign, and then you can meet up with that password. It's exactly the same, same you know, uppercase, lowercase, all that. And then only you two can play together because you have the password. Um, 
Now, if you have killed a boss in the area that you both want to play, your friend can't join. But if that friend has not killed the boss, then you can join them. Because guaranteed what's going to happen is once they kill the boss, you won't be able to play with them in that zone again. So that's something to take into consideration. And I think that that's going to be one of the biggest reasons why people can't summon or be summoned. It's going to be that you've done the boss, get on with the game and move forward to the next place that you can play together. So there's that. So that solves that problem, hopefully, for most people, I think. Um, And obviously, that other player that you're playing with needs to know if they've killed that boss or not. So that's that. Once you've killed the boss in a zone, no help for you. You can help other people as long as they haven't killed the boss themselves for that area, main boss. Okay, so when it comes to other issues, we're having a look at um, Spirit Ashes. I know that there has been an issue with me where I've summoned my Spirit Ashes, so with whether it be wolves or jellyfish, etc. Um, and then I have been unable to summon a friend into my game. These sort of situations are, you know, remote. It's just reload the game again and see what happens. Um, and that's vice versa too. So you might not be able to summon Ashes after you play with somebody um, in a game. I don't know why it is. It could be fixed by the time you listen to this with a patch. I don't know. That's just a known thing that I'm aware of. Um, Yes, so the summoning pools is another important one. So remember that the Tarnished Furled Finger is a, a close proximity item. The person actually has to walk over you to do that, to see it using their fur calling finger remedy. So remember, the gold thing is saying, hey, I want to help. The fur calling finger remedy is to say, hey, I need help. Come to me. So the one that looks like a pocket watch is the host item. And the one that looks like a finger is the helper. Um, Then we have the summoning pools, which I've done a whole tutorial on that. The summoning pools um, are where you can help people in that whole area around that, those those other little um, statues that you see. So it's, it pays mine to use the item for summoning pools if you just generally want to hang out with other people and help them. That's that. Um, and you have to use that specific item for that uh, summoning pool if you want to help. Now, also, um, if you want to summon players who have their, I- their icon down at summoning pools, then you just use your fur calling finger remedy to instead of that statue, ding, ding, and then they should light up on the ground. There's probably a very high chance there'll be a lot of red markers on the ground, which is the invaders, so that's where it's PvP. Um, It it just really depends on who's in your area at the time. So again, if you backtrack and you're, you know, a heavy level, you go, oh, damn, I want to go get some smithing stones from Kaelid or whatever. Um, Oh, yeah, I want to play with somebody else. Let me just go to the summoning pools. The chances of you being matched with somebody in that, those sort of lower sections of Caleb is, is remote just because you don't have that, that similar level to other players. That's why you're not seeing gold um, signs anymore, you know. It's, that's, why, that's why it is that way. So if you turned off your game, you start a new character, you're level one, you go into the starting zone, you'll see the gold icons all over the place because then you're level appropriate. You're, ma- you're easily match made with other players who have started the game. And just when you start getting out of your zones, that's when you start to see the lack of being able to be summoned and the inability to be summoned. Not just that, but because you might have killed a boss again, that then you can't get help from other players, you know. So that should cover everything, I think. If this didn't help you... Um, I do have live streams where we do troubleshooting, etc. for Elden Ring. Um, There's a whole wealth of information in that. We've got um, amazing people in chat that have a lot of hot tips, for example, and I'm happy to show you places on the map that or items that you might not have. Um, Yeah, it's it's super interactive and and pretty pretty fun and amazing. So that should cover it, I think. Um, If I have missed something, feel free to comment below and put your suggestion there, and then we might do a 3.0 troubleshooter. But I think that basically covers it. So, again, just going over it, summarising the technical side, which is pretty unlikely that's the reason, the the mismatching. So, number one, making sure you put your sign in the right spot, making sure you're in the right area. 
So you're ma- match made with people who are of your level. Making sure that if you're playing with a friend, you need to have the same password on. You need to meet at the same side of grace specifically so they can see your sign on the ground in front of their body. Um, making sure that you know if you've done a boss or making sure that friend knows if they've done a boss. That's pretty important. And if you want to frolic more in this game with a friend, don't kill the main boss in that area. Just clear it, clean it out, and then go, okay, let's get onto the boss now and uh, move forward with that. Otherwise, you're basically locking, your out of that, uh, locking yourself out of that multiplayer um, experience, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, and that's about it. So if you're new to the game and this is a little bit overwhelming, there is a beginner's guide. I'm making a whole library of beginner's um, hot tips, tricks and how to do stuff and how to troubleshoot things and also an advanced guide uh, for players that are deeper into the game. So, yeah, consider liking, subscribing and, and hitting the bell button if you want to check out the live notifications for new videos and also live streams too. Thank you so much for hanging out today and uh, supporting the channel just by watching my videos and liking them. Um, it it helps more than you can imagine. Know that. Uh, I love and leave you. I'll see you in the live streams and um, now exclusively streaming right for you on YouTube. Until next time.